so welcome back guys my name is Moin Akram and in this video we are going to make blinking light with audio frequency so as you can see there is a default cube around here so scale on shift Z something like this okay now edit mode go to face select mode select four faces like this without left click and extrude scale on Z axis like this okay now go to material tab plus assign with new material and change the name with emission okay now go to vendor viewport let's enable the bloom with screen space reflection now change principle to emission for this side as you can see now go to shade editor shift a search color ramp for color now value value to factor and color to color now let's change value to zero now press right click and insert keyframe now if you go to graph editor there's nothing around here because we didn't select the value okay now it's here select default value key and back sound to F curves now go to desktop I mean it's my desktop where my sound is located now select your sound highest frequency is 20 I think 20 yes I think 20 is enough for me now press N, add modifier with envelope. Now as you can see, minimum value is 0.1 and the maximum value is 10. Okay. Now go shared editor. Okay, everything is looks fine here. Now change strength value 1 to 2050, 250, 250. Now 3D viewport and let's play. okay you didn't hear the sound because there is no speaker around here so let's add a speaker like this and open the same sound from my desktop I mean where your sound is located as you can see now So I think the video tutorial is completed but before let's add a plane and scale and grab this emission wide up D and press 7 let's go to solid viewport and shift D on X axis about 3 now shift R shift R shift R and shift R now as you can see they all have same color white so select this one and click on this tab now for this one and for this one and for this one and the last one now go to color click on here and change to red now go to color click on here and change to yellow now go to color and change with uh, I think this one now go to color and click and change I think I think I think this one let's leave it white change this one to dark blue so scale control z scale press 0 to camera view and to view and lock to camera view as you can see now go to vendor viewport 
select and shift D on Y axis about 3 okay let's uncheck this one more time and okay now go to plan and increase the specular level and I think it's done now there's little bit difference but when we render it it continue it runs smoothly so hope you learn something new in this video and uh, there's something I missed this one like this hope you learn something new in this video guys so just click the subscribe button on my channel and check out my previous videos so goodbye guys and thanks for watching